Bickley and Murata. Bickley and Murata mornings. Arizona Sports, the local sports leader. Bickley Blast. When it comes to the NBA's biggest throne, LeBron James is a Kino, king in name only, which is to say he's still a very good player, but no longer the face of the league. But even as he approaches age 40, his ability to dominate an offseason has never waned. Normally, it's his one-year contracts that keep him in the limelight. This year, it's his quest to play pro ball with his son, Bronny, who is now officially part of this year's NBA draft and the intrigue and the possibilities of another team drafting Bronny and thereby poaching LeBron will dominate the news cycle for weeks to come exactly the way LeBron likes it. So what exactly are the Suns doing here? Is this a desperation play to double down on their ill-fated super team before it's too late? Are they serving as a friendly placeholder for LeBron, assuring his son will be drafted in the first round? And ultimately traded to the Lakers? These are all great questions, and I highly recommend you mark July 6th on your calendar. That is the day when LeBron, KD, and Devin Booker report for training camp in Las Vegas, becoming teammates on Team USA, and it's also the day when NBA teams can sign free agents, a day when conceivably the big three in Phoenix could theoretically become the Fantastic Four. Either way, another offseason will revolve around LeBron and this time we happen to be stuck in the middle of the maelstrom and in some ways I am just happy that Bronny isn't as good as his father or we'd be looking at another 20 years of narcissistic drama in the NBA. All right, today's Bickley Blast brought to you by my great friends at Chapman BMW who make luxury attainable. Find them online at ChapmanBMW.com. I don't think he's taking the minimum to go play in Phoenix or anywhere. All right, now from a, again, strictly from a basketball standpoint, we know he's got tons of money. It's not like he has to ne- get the extra well, 50 money. Fifty million. Yeah, I mean he's got he's a billionaire, yeah. so he's <laughs> fine. But basketball wise, I'd love it. Oh, I mean he 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 answers the question. The biggest question about that team was what their fourth quarter. Situation. Yeah. They were the worst fourth quarter team in the league by a healthy margin. <laughs> and because they didn't have a decision maker, that's what LeBron could do is make the decision for that team. Look, if he went to Phoenix, I, they'd be nice. So um, that's Chris Broussard on First Things First, FS1. Yeah. Earlier in the week, that was on Monday, talking about, uh, hey, prefacing it by saying LeBron's not taking the minimum. Uh, Kellen Olsen. Filled in for Wolf yesterday, and there was a conversation, and it's running in promo form on the radio station now, and Kellen's exactly right. On the LeBron front, there is absolutely no historical example of a guy, a player, giving up just mi- tens of millions of dollars to go elsewhere mm-hmm. with the potential to sign for a minimum deal somewhere else. It, it It's... The fact that people are even bringing that up as a possibility is just a testament to LeBron and his earning power. He's a billionaire. He's made almost $500 million in salary alone during his NBA career. Mm-hmm. Uh, and people bring that up as a possibility. Well, he's got all the money he needs. That's not a precedent anybody wants to be set. In in any walk of life, walk away from $51 million and sign for $2 million plus? Not if you're known to be a great businessman, although, but, but then again, there would also, it, that would give legitimacy to what he is, a, what he would be trying to accomplish, which is, this is the most meaningful thing to me. I'm doing it at any price. The money doesn't matter to me because this is a play from the heart. Yeah. And now I don't, I don't think LeBron is capable of that because he is, he, he is, prideful of his abilities as a business person, but the the whole sign and trade stuff, is that, what are the legalities of that? The Suns are unable to participate in any sign and trade uh, deals because of their position as, as, That's as a right. second okay. apron team. All right, so, so there you go. They have one possibility they, of getting LeBron right. James, and it's him saying bye-bye to a $47 million plus That's dollars. That's right. That's right. And and so, but again, to to think it would never happen is foolhardy because he's left teams before, and and L.A. to Phoenix is no impediment. If you if you've got a sprawling business empire in Los Angeles and a family situated in Los Angeles, 
being in Phoenix is not a bad option. Being in Los Angeles is a better one. <laughs> well, no, I, again, see, that's I, the, I, I know. I, that's the thing, though. Like, the easiest path forward is he gets the money from the Lakers. Yes. And then the Lakers draft Bronny. It's not even mm-hmm. getting them. The money is there. It's on the books. It's just LeBron saying, yep, I'm going to take that money. Yes. Right. 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 So it's like the most the easiest and most logical thing would be just Bronny goes to the Lakers. Then everything works out that the best way it could be possible. Mm-hmm. The only other scenario is that if you factor in the LeBron really, really, really wants to win another championship also, and by maybe he looks at the Suns with their star power as that possibility. No, no, but we, then why, we were both in agreement that the Lakers last year had a better roster top to bottom right. than the Phoenix Suns. Did. We, we, exactly. And, and that is why I think that if you were going to look at this with completely open eyes and no cynicism at all, you would say there would be a more of a role for Bronny James in Phoenix than there would be in Los Angeles. Now, it might only be four minutes a game more, but there's more of a need slash rationale for putting Bronny James on the court. Well, well, let's go back to the why are the Suns one of the two teams? We know why the Lakers are. Why are the Suns? If there's, ten, if there's 10 teams, could it be because the other eight teams are the eight worst teams in the league? And LeBron would never want to play there, even if they had his son. Could well, it be? It could be. It could be something no more difficult than LeBron making the Lakers not only draft Bronny, but have them go get other guys he wants as well. But we also don't know what is number one. What what the pecking order of importance is for LeBron James at this mm-hmm. point? He's won championships with th- three different franchises. He holds basically every statistical record there is. So if you and shows it, no signs of slowing down, does he want to win another championship with money, the Lakers? Money, championship, play with his son. I, I Those have, three things. I have no idea. I, I would assume playing with his son is probably the most important because that's the newest one. That's something he hasn't done before at a, on, a, on a professional level. I mean, there's also the fact that you, we don't know how Le, more, much LeBron's going to play. Like, LeBron could take the money now and say, okay, the last year of my career, I'll just go wherever Bronny is, and then I'll take the minimum two years from now after I give two more years of trying to win a championship at $50 million a year. But then there's also the possibility, despite all the power plays that Rich yeah, Paul that, is trying to pull, that LeBron knows deep down Bronny doesn't have right. much time in the NBA. Right, might not be in the league in two years. He yeah, might have to do it point. now. It might be now that's or never. That's a great point. Great point. And there's also the possibility of, I, and I hate to even suggest this, but... It's out there. The kid has a heart problem. He's had a heart problem in the very recent past. Hopefully he's okay. Hopefully that's not an I you know something that pops yeah. up and affects him well, for either, the rest of his either life. Either way, like I said, I, I think LeBron James is really risking a real bad time for his son by I, wanting to make this happen. I agree with you. But, man, this is <laughs> – and again, this is we're going to be talking about this all the way up to the NBA draft. Yeah, we're talking about now going on a year and a half of calendar where almost everything about the Phoenix Suns is just clouded by mystery. Thank goodness <laughs> the NBA draft is is only a few weeks after the season and not three and a half months after the season like in the NFL. Yeah. Imagine three months. But, could you, but again, could you imagine if the Suns go and take Bronny? On on what it was June twenty sixth twenty what fifth the okay. first round's the twenty fifth they select Bronny and they have a press conference we're really excited to have him there's no word about LeBron and then LeBron shows up for Olympic training camp in Vegas and he's there with Book and KD and then they announce that very same day that the Suns have signed LeBron James could you imagine what the NBA's what what it's going to be sound like yeah but especially scrub. when Anthony Davis is on Team USA it would screw up a lot of our summer vacations I can tell you that much <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just want, wow. I really want no part of it. Thanks for watching Bickley and Murata. Click to see the latest Bickley Blast and hit the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.